Hey guys, so this is going to be my first multiplayer battle coming back to you after a while. So I just finished up that documentary series. I hope you guys enjoyed. And in the spirit of that, I figured I'd take up Carthage. So this is going to be involving the new units that were added since Hannibal at the Gates. The map we're playing on is a map that I don't particularly like just because of the central hill and some of the disadvantages that that can give. Uh, I do typically like asymmetric maps if they've been made. Balanced. This one, for instance, can be unbalanced if uh, I believe the enemy's deployment is a little closer to it, so they can usually grab it. In any case, my opponent does come down to the low ground before the battle started. I appreciated that. He's going to be playing as Pontus. Now, my build here, if you can take a look at it, mostly consists of mercenary units. So, if you look at the bottom, I have my core, which is going to be two African pikemen and two Libyan swordsmen. On top of that, two of, I believe, the new Iberian troops, or the Scutari, I can't remember. They're pretty elite troops, so that's going to be my core. Then I have four of these Balearic Slingers, and then a pretty hefty contingent of Cav. Now, my plan, on the other hand, is going to be to push the wings, try and force him to engage, draw him into the center. And in the center, that's where I want to pick apart his forces with my Balearics and various other skirmishers. My pikes are going to be holding the center. So you can see here, I'm trying to bait my opponent forward. He is going to fall for the trap. Uh, this is something you'll see me do relatively often, is try and bait my opponents into situations. It can be tricky. You have to make sure that you are keeping track of how close your opponent is. I could have easily lost those two units. And then you can see how I had these javelins positioned on that end. That allows me to come and toy even further with his troops out here. So, you know, if he decides to retreat, I turn around my skirmishers, they attack him, as well as my own javcav can go ahead and assault him. He decides to commit these light troops, and I'm going to get a good charge on him, and that's going to allow me to even up the fight. My opponent is going to start to exacerbate the situation, make it worse by sending in some of his own troops. They are, these are noble blood calves, so I'm reinforcing with most of my troops, and I'm going to have to pull in the majority of my other forces. I am also going to push to take the hill. So, those other cavalry troops are in the distance charging. And one of my Jav Cav here was caught out of position. I was looking elsewhere. Good thing though is they're going to slow down his cavalry and allow me to charge in. And uh, it basically robs his units of the charge bonus that they're getting. Another thing that you'll see me do a lot here is make him target some of my units, draw those guys out, and attack on the side with some of my other troops. That's something I highly recommend if you have more cavalry units. Make the opponent waste their cavalry bonus, attack them from the side, and then go ahead and charge back in. You'll see much better uh, results from that. I'm also getting attacked in the forest over on that flank, however because we are in the woods it's going to slow down both of the cavalry troops there. Uh, I am going to be losing those forces. So in the center I was able to equalize and disrupt his main forces here. His blood cav is now going to be neutralized and eliminated on the sides. However he did go ahead and kill one of my own troops over in the forest right there. So I'm going to be pushing up my own forces to counteract that. My Balearics are falling back and now I'm going to tell him to start picking off his javelin forces. I know that I currently have the cavalry advantage and so I can circumvent his infantry. My main um, worry is going to be essentially his remaining pikes and his remaining skirmishers. I know those skirmishers can tear into my own pikes. If he does that, there goes the infantry advantage. So that's what I'm going to be targeting with my own guys. He's going to be making a push on this side. And that's where I'm going to deploy my forces on the side over here. Supporting fire from the hill, he hasn't seen them. Additionally, these peltes that I like to keep right behind my spears, they can tear through infantry. Very good for armor piercing capabilities. Softening up guys, and that's going to basically nullify his main charge. Seems like my opponent does realize this. He's going to be committing most of his troops up the center. That's why I do have these Balearics up here. However, you can see with the deployment of my forces, I generally don't like presenting a single front to my opponent. I like having multiple forces that can interact and support with each other, fall back, draw the opponent into different positions. I found that's uh, probably the best way to play. And um, I, I just have to keep track of my micro when I'm doing that because as you can see, there are a lot of moving pieces and there's the opportunity for me to fail. But what it does do is it stretches my opponent's micro to the limit and I'm allowed to exploit a lot of the things that he does wrong. So for instance, if you look in the distance over there, my Balearics on the hill are taking out his cavalry who were otherwise distracted. So I think that's kind of a, a good statement of where I stand in terms of my tactics. Right in the center, my Balearics are going to keep scooting back. I decided to shuffle over my own... Uh, helped us over here they finished up cleaning up this flank and so I'm now going to be able to curve in onto the sides sort of something inspired by can I if you want to look at it that way where I draw my opponent into the center and attack from the flanks so 
that's kind of how you see me playing these battles. My opponent does have a good amount of units still in the center. Look at that. He's rushing forwards with his own jabs, his own spears, swords, and various other troops. However, they are immobile. So that's why I did bring these Balearics. They have great range, great DPS. So I'm going to be pouring in the fire. My opponent is in the woods, so he's going to have an advantage. Now, what's going to counteract that, however, is my cav advantage. So first what I'm going to do is try and weaken up his spears first. I'm going to allow him to take his pot shots with his own skirmishers. I know those guys can't, they can't stand, they can't even survive if I take out his spears. So you can see here, concentrating fire on them. I'm retreating my forces in the face of those spears. No need to engage them right away. I'm going to force my opponent to start charging forward. I'm going to pull him right back into my own spears. Here I'm going to charge with some of my own troops. Knowing that he's charging after me, I know they're not in perfect formation. And so I charge in. He's able to drop his spears, however, in the meantime. But I'm just going to scoot around with my cav on multiple sides. And now I'm going to pop some general abilities here. A uh, little bit of a micro issue right there as I tried to issue commands. And I ran into his pikes. However, it does allow me to... You know, pop those abilities and start breaking his troops. Over on the flank, I'm getting some good side shots, and the concentrated fire of all my guys are now going to be targeted on his skirmishers. Cav are going to be returning, and now we're going to basically knock out the remainder of his infantry right there. And that's essentially going to be allowing me to finish off the clumps of his forces. So a relatively quick battle for an online game, I would say pretty effective, and it does definitely um, show you some of the different play styles that you'll be seeing from me and from uh, potentially my opponents. Now my play style generally changes a lot, it requires a decent amount of micro, but uh, as I get back into multiplayer again, I'm obviously going to try different builds. Feel free to recommend which factions you'd like me to try, any recommended builds you guys would like to see. Um, and always the game is changing as CA implements new patches. So I know patch 12 is in beta right now, so that'll have some new effects. I'm not exactly um, very knowledgeable about the intricacies of that. I generally am pretty good at multiplayer, but not because I know the, f the stats <laughs> on a day-to-day -day basis or how troop seca stack up the stack up against each other I'm more there just for the tactical sense when it comes to numbers and figures I won't be able to quote those to you to say you know this guy has 33 attack that guy has 32 defense whatever and predict the outcome I'm mostly about a larger strategy than that so flanking enveloping concentrating fire stuff like that is always tried and true regardless of the patch so in any case here my infantry is starting to crack but you can see the majority of my troops are left, particularly my Balearics, they're still alive and they're going to be picking apart his guys, especially from the flanks right there. Concentrating fire on the sides of these pike troops is going to decimate them, especially when I'm able to charge onto the side. So anyways, I'm going to thank my opponent for the battle, and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the stats real briefly. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be having more of these replays come out. Let me know what you'd like to see, uh, either in style of commentary or also if you guys want me to, you know, as I did here, record first person, commentate over, or do you want me to do the more detached replay where I can zoom in and talk more broadly about the battle? I think both have their pros and, con pros and cons. Anyways, look at the kills here. So, pretty even distribution of kills, I would say, on my side. And uh, a lot of it came down to my infantry, but also my support skirmishers, they did a lot of good work. So I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.